guys, my name is Esther and I'm back for another video with Lowland Kids. In this video, I will take you through step by step how to sew up the women's dolman pattern. The women's dolman pattern. Yeah, that's right. I've chosen to do the long sleeve version in this video, but there are lots of variations that you can do. I even did a hacked version with a gathered sleeve um, to match my bub because there is also a kid's dolman pattern. It turned out very cute, a bit too big, but that was because I chose the wrong size. Anyway, I digress. This is the perfect pattern for beginners and those who are not that familiar with using knit stretch fabrics like t-shirt fabric. Um, so I will talk you through that and I'm not using an overlocker in this video either. I'm just going to use my sewing machine which comes with the basic straight stitch, zigzag stitch and it does come with a lightning stitch um, which I'll talk you through in the video so don't fret. Um, but I thought I would add that in there. For those of you that don't have an overlocker, I decided to try and help you out by doing this video without using one at all. I used a lightweight t-shirt fabric like a jersey in this nice pink color because I realized that all my other videos were gray. So this is specifically <laughs> a bright color. You can choose like heavier fabrics like a fleece or a French terry if you're wanting it for outerwear. You can definitely wear this as a sweatshirt or you can also use lighter fabrics like I have and use it as a top or a layering piece. This would also be so perfect if you had like applique or an iron-on print or something to go on the front. Um, that would be really cute as well. So there are lots of different options for this beautiful staple pattern. Um, let's get started. So these are the three views that come with the pattern. There's a long sleeve, a short sleeve, and then a sleeveless version. And there are different hem options as well. You can do a regular hem that you fold up. You can do a band, which goes all the way around the hem, or you can do a split hem, which is what I'm going to be showing you how to do in this tutorial. When you purchase the pattern, it will come with all of the relevant, inf relevant, relevant information that you need in order to get sewing, especially if you're a beginner sewer, this will be really helpful for you. Getting the right fit for adults can be a lot trickier than for kids, so I'll talk you through what I found with this style and hopefully it's helpful. I cut the extra small size and I do usually wear an extra small so I found the fit through the body was true to size. It's a regular fit, not slim and not oversized. And I cut the longer length option and added on the split. So I think I did that by accident because if you want the split you should probably cut at the regular length. Both of those markings, the regular length and the longer length, are marked on the pattern piece. So for reference, I'm 165 centimeters tall or five foot four, and the back finished below my bum. I do have a very small bum though, so perhaps maybe take that into account. If you'd like the top to be loose around your hips, I do recommend measuring your own hip circumference and then using the size chart provided to find the right size that will fit loosely around your hips. The long sleeves fit perfectly just above my knuckles, but I did find that as I moved around, and especially if I lift my arms up, they creep quite far up your forearm. So if you happen to know that your arms run a little extra long, then make sure you add some extra length to the sleeves. Okay, now that all the fit stuff is out of the way, we can get onto sewing. Just a reminder, again, I chose the long sleeve version with the split hem and the longer length. I cut out all the pieces relevant to that style and then I sewed up the shoulder seams. Because we're using a stretch fabric, we have to use a stretch stitch. So you cannot just use a normal straight stitch. Instead, we're going to use a zigzag. We want quite a small zigzag, so you might have to have a play around with the settings on your machine before you're happy with the final one. But as a general reference, my stitch width was a two and my stitch length was 1.4. Alternatively, if your machine has a stitch that looks like this lightning bolt, um, it's sort of like a flat zigzag, you can use that as well. Of course, if you have a serger or an overlocker, you can definitely use that instead. I just wanted to briefly show that it is very possible to sew up stretch fabrics as a beginner sewer with only a regular sewing machine. Now with my shoulder seam sewn, I'm going to open up my garment so that the right side of my garment is facing up and I'll fold my sleeve piece in half to find the midpoint of the top of the shoulder and then I'm going to align that midpoint with the shoulder seam. And then you can pin or clip it in place. I'll also pin the rest of my sleeve head to the armhole and then that's ready to sew up next. 
Just be careful if you are using pins because I know that they can sometimes pierce jersey fabric and create little holes and you definitely don't want that. Now with the sleeve sewn in, it should be looking a lot more like a top. So we can put the right sides together and sew all the way down the side seam. Next I'll sew the pieces for the split hem. I'll fold the piece in half like this and then sew down the short sides using a straight stitch, not a zigzag. And I'll do that for the front piece and the back piece separately. Once they're sewn, you can flip them out the right way and you should have a really nice crisp corner that's going to form the edges of those splits. We can also sew the sleeve cuff, so fold that in half and then sew down this edge. Once it's sewn, it should look like this. And then we can fold it over and conceal that seam on the inside of the cuff so that you can't see it. And then we can attach it to the sleeve. I also like to open up the seam allowance on that inside so that it's sitting nice and flat and it's a bit less bulky when we sew it. Also note that if you're doing the hem band option, then this is the same way that you'll attach that band all around the hem. So with my garment inside out still, I'm going to put the whole cuff inside and align it like so. I'm going to stretch the cuff to fit the sleeve. Um, I really should have used a ribbing fabric for the cuff, but I didn't. So I don't have a lot of stretch in my fabric, but it should still fit quite well. And I'll just use a few pins to keep it in place. Then I'm just going to sew all the way around this cuff. You definitely need to use the zigzag stitch or the lightning bolt stitch to sew that because it needs to stretch quite a lot. And then you can repeat this whole process to attach the neckband. Admittedly, this finish doesn't look as neat as if you had a serger or an overlocker, but once you give it a press, I think it will sit a lot nicer. Most sewing machines will actually have a stitch option like this, which you can use on the edge and it sort of neatens it up a bit. But honestly, after having a bit of a play with mine, um, it didn't really work out that great. So I don't think it's super beginner friendly, um, but I think with a bit of practice, it could be an option if you really can't stand that edge being unfinished and looking a bit messy. Otherwise, you could just trim the edge so that it's nice and neat. And again, give it a really nice press and I think it will look nice. Lastly, I will attach the pieces for my split hem. I'm going to turn my garment the right way out and take my hem piece and place that on top of the garment, right sides together, so that I can sew all along that bottom edge. Align the edge of the hem piece with the side seams for both the front and back pieces and it should look something like this. Then just use a simple straight stitch to tack it in place before we sew around the entire hem. Again, make sure you're using the zigzag or the lightning stitch. When complete, it should look something like this. And then we're ready for a final press it's a good idea to press your garments inside out so that you can access all the seams and make sure they're all sitting really nice and flat and beautifully finished from the outside. And voila, the top is complete. So there we go, I hope that this video was helpful for you. Let me know if there was anything I skipped over or anything that wasn't clear. Pop it in the comments and we'll do our best to get back to you and answer any questions that you have. If you weren't aware, there's also a great Facebook sewing group with Lowland Kids. So I think it's under Lowland Kids sewing thread um, and you can post questions you can post um, your completed projects we love to see how they turned out and you can also jump on instagram at lowland kids tag us in your pictures and in your makes we love seeing them and you can check out all the inspiration from other makers which i really love to do i'm pretty sure that's all i had to say i'll see you in another video soon bye